What's up everyone? I have another minimalist build for you today. As always, it is Minimalist Monday and this time we are playing in the stair pack. And I have to say this time it was a lot more difficult to get a run because a lot of the pro players are practicing for the team tour. And you can see here we get a draw in the first round. Not very indicative of the strength of my opponents because it's only uh, turn 1 and 2. But uh, yeah, I think we'll see some familiar faces along the way. And you can see for example here we face Ref. And uh, curiously enough I actually just watched his set on his Twitch channel. So I'll link his YouTube and Twitch channel in the description. And it was super fun to watch. He was playing in the star pack as well. So uh, yeah. While he has been becoming stronger, I am just building up some pigeons. I don't know if that's a good strategy or not, maybe it is. But uh, yeah, in the meantime, we'll just uh, hope for some levels and we do find one in the Marm set. So you've probably seen from the thumbnail my idea as we actually face Tyler, who is my teacher for the uh, Team 2 event. But uh, my idea for this build is uh, to do something summon related because I have not done a minimalist summon build yet. It's mostly been just stats. And uh, we have a pretty good setup right here with the stork and the anteater, both of which we will take, I believe. Or I guess we can uh, uh, unfreeze the stork because we have the double uh, dove and uh, that will give us some uh, extra stats onto the backline to units. Yep, you can see here we win. And uh, yeah, idea is going to be get a Mantis hopefully. I might even take a level up on this turn and we thankfully find it. So we get to pill the Dove now with the Mantis' ability. And uh, we set up pretty nicely for a summon team. We can feed the Mantis all kinds of stuff. We ideally want to give it stuff like Blobfish and uh, I guess more Doves because that also gives stats. But uh, you can see opponents are not making it easy on us at all, but uh, thankfully we do have the stats to compensate. And we might actually take even another level and it is a crow, which we will take. Yep, we'll probably just buy it, either that or, or the anteater. Yeah, you can see me uh, deliberating a little bit right here, giving the uh, wood, <laughs> wood sucker, I was going to call it woodpecker as a sacrifice to the mantis and uh, I think we'll be fine but uh, yeah it's very close as you can see but uh, yeah I think we're doing fine so far we will get a level up on this turn for tier 5 I guess the only good thing summer enlisted would be the vulture and thankfully we do find one so we would gladly take that it's kind of weird to play around with the mantis in my experience it's such high maintenance giving it a unit every turn to swallow but it can be lots of fun as well especially when you get some free benefits like these stats and you can see here we are probably going to be okay especially with the level 2 anteater getting us an extra trigger on the vulture right there so yeah we're fine we get some extra stats we are going to level up the vulture as well and hopefully get something useful or I guess we are not going to roll for the blobfish we will just take what we have frozen in the shop which I guess is also quite fair platypus kind of interesting it's going to give us yet another summon after it faints and it's going to be super useful in battle as well triggering the vulture's ability but uh, yeah hopefully we level into the spinosaurus now and we do finally roll into a blobfish as well so we're definitely taking that, that's I believe the best thing you can find for the Mantis. We'll probably level the uh, thingy, the Vulture, even though the positioning is going to be suboptimal, either that or the Anteater, which I guess I did pick the Anteater. I did play this last week as well, so my memory of this is kind of blurry, you have to forgive me. But uh, yeah, we win here by 1 HP, super lucky, we have not lost a single heart. We are getting the level 3 and it is going to be a Spinosaurus and we also get another level up from the crawl onto the Vulture which hopefully is yet another Spinosaurus so this is just perfect. The only unfortunate thing is that we will have to sacrifice something to the Mantis because it is getting hungry again 
and I make kind of a questionable decision here, I decide to feed it the Vulture, because we are not going to be using a lot of units on the team, we are going for a minimalist build after all, so I don't know how many triggers we'll get from the Vulture's ability, so why not just feed it right after we made it into a level 2? Hopefully we are fine on this turn. It's looking kind of scary, but uh, the stats on the Anteater as well as the buffs from the Spino are super useful. How many wins are we on? We have only two more left to go as we finally sacrifice the Vulture. We put a Pepper onto the Mantis. I don't know if that was necessary or not, maybe it would have been a better idea to give it to the Spino so it doesn't get sniped. But uh, it could also trade with a potentially 40 HP unit and kill it. Here it's going to trade with the uh, 30 HP unit and unfortunately die in the process but we are fine because of the double Spinosaurus and the level 3 Anteater. So we are one win away. And I'll decide here to combine the Spinosaurus I believe just to make the team that little bit smaller for the minimalist build. Yep, buy sell the crow as well to get it up to level 2. Level 2 Spino when you don't have a 5 squad is kind of sad but I did want this to be the final build and uh, I'll get something on the team just to have the uh, Mantis eat something and I decide on the Raptor because we do have a strawberry unit and it is pretty powerful. Chances are we might not even win even though our team is looking pretty strong so maybe I should be preparing for something to do on the next turn so I freeze the zebra. We are going to end turn right here and see if we win. By the length of the video you can probably tell that no, we do not win in fact, which is kind of sad. But uh, we will, I believe, end up drawing by multiple 1 HP breakpoints, so that is super sad. But I think we have this in the back, 5 hearts, even though we have only a 3 squad, excluding the unit that will feed to the Mantis every turn, I think we will be okay. Yep, we'll even give the Mantis one other XP. I don't think that was necessary. Hopefully we win this time, however. And by the positioning of the opponent, you can see this is what I mean by our opponents being very strong in the player pool because uh, their positioning is super solid, putting cheese front lines and uh, destroying our peppers that way. But uh, yeah, I think... This is still not going to be the final fight yet again, which is super unfortunate. And I'm honestly kind of deliberating on going away from the minimalist build. But I instead decide to take a platypus and uh, hopefully this is going to be good enough. The platypus is two extra summons as opposed to the anteater swan that we got from the orca. And from the stats of the opposing team, you can just tell that we are not winning this for sure. But it is kind of close, 2 HP off. But uh, yeah, I believe this now is going to be the final fight. We are going to put some pepper on the other stuff as well, just to make sure that it survives some snipes and uh, beneficial traits. What we will put it on? I guess the anteater. If we are not going to find the raptor to replace it with coconut, I think pepper is better. And yeah, this is going to be the final team. So I really hope you enjoyed this minimalist summon build and if you did I hope that you like, sub, do all the generic stuff and I'll talk to you next time, take care.